dear K school students, uh, this is Natraj from the Visual Studio. In the last session, we had discussed about the concept of planning. In this session, we are going to have a discussion about the concept of organizing. After the planning, the immediate next step is organizing. Here, you organize all your resources uh, like men, machines, material, money, all into a single solid unit. So, here organizing helps you to define who is going to do what. So, organizing sets you the job roles, organizational hierarchies, and streamlines the coordination between all of them. Okay. Now, let us discuss about the characteristics of organizations. The first characteristic is division of labor and specialization. Division of labor, what does that mean? It means the assigning the responsibilities to each and every component of organizational structure to perform their tasks effectively and efficiently. Then what about the specialization? Specialization means delegating uh, the specific task to designated person in the field to extract the maximum quality products and service from him or her. The next feature is orientation towards goals. Every organization has its own goals and objectives. Right. So here, organizing is the function employed to achieve overall goals of the organizations. Organization integrates the individual's goals our objectives, our aspirations, our dreams into the overall organization's objectives. Dear students, now let us discuss about the objectives of the organization. The first objective is it helps to achieve organizational goal. So organizing focuses our individual's attention work and efforts to achieve overall organization's objectives. The next objective is optimum use of resources. To make optimum use of resources such as men, material, money and machine, the organizational structure should be designed properly. Work should be divided equally and qualified people should be given the right jobs to reduce the wastage of resources in an organization. Next objective is to perform managerial function. Planning, organizing, controlling, directing, staffing. These are all functions cannot be implemented properly without effective organizing process. Hence, uh, the organization process is very essential in any organization in order to get maximum output from each and every component of organization. Dear students, I hope you have learned something valuable in this session. In the next session, we will take up another concept and we will have a discussion. Till then, goodbye.